basic building blocks that make up all drawings, no matter how sophisticated, are just lines, shapes and photos, which collectively we sometimes call objects. Drawings are made from dozens, hundreds, sometimes thousands of separate objects. I can draw lines with one of three tools available in this toolbar. All the main tools in Zara are shown down the left side toolbar. So here I'm using the freehand tool to draw a line, just as I would with a pencil. Solid shapes, like this one, are made from drawing a line that is closed. That is, the end and the start join to enclose a shape, like this. The number one most used tool is the selector tool. This one tool is used to move, resize and rotate anything on your page. You can just click and drag to move any object. When you click an object, it becomes selected and shows these resize handles around the outside. The status line confirms what is selected, as well as giving very useful prompts as to what you can do with the object. By dragging on these corner resize handles, you can enlarge or reduce its size. If you click again on the object, the resize handles turn into rotate handles. Now, if you drag a corner handle, you can rotate the object. It's all very simple. So I can use a combination of resize and rotation very quickly and easily. No menus and no dialogues required. You'll notice that as I select each tool, this area at the top changes depending on the tool I've selected. This is what we call the info bar, and it provides the controls for the selected tool. You can change the thickness of lines by first selecting the object and then choosing a line thickness from the drop-down menu here. Or you can type any value. Traditionally, line thickness is measured in points, but you can enter values in any unit you like. So if I enter 0.5 cm and press return, the line becomes half a centimetre thick. But it always shows you the value in points here. So half a centimetre is just over 14 points. Every new object I draw is created on top of the earlier ones. So you can see as I drag this shape, it appears on top of the other shapes. And this object is under the others. I can change the order by using the Arrange menu option. So I select Put to Back, or type Control-B, and now this object is behind all the others.